Today's adventure, Pinnacles. Bioa National Park. It's south from Tathra and Pembilla. It's about an hour south of Tathra. Just short of Eden. Another nice day. Fairly easy walk. After a short walk, it comes out to an opening of the surf. Must be a bit further on. Fairly easy walk, number of stairs. See why it's called the Sapphire Coast, can't you? Nice and blue. Blue, blue water. Hence the name Sapphire Coast, I guess. Then. We're thinking this might be the pinnacles, judging from what the photo on the pamphlet was. Very bright red bite out of the landscape. I'm not sure what this beach is called. Pangula Beach, maybe? Very nice and peaceful out here. Bright, bright blue, clean water. Yeah, yeah, it's really a lot more. It's really a lot more. Yeah. 
Can you move around here? Yeah. Lookout. Um, this is on the way to Pinnacles Beach. It's a beach lookout. We were just over that way a short while back. Must be called Pinnacles Beach, we just discovered. Pinnacles Beach lookout. And the pinnacles are just in those little valleys, two, three across. Awesome crystal, crystal clear water. Just awesome. I'm trying to look and see if we can spot dolphins, but we can't, as yet. beach on this side. Alright, so continuing our day, we're now south again in Eden, or just south of Eden, actually, you know, five kilometres from the Victorian border again, at a whaling station, or what was a whaling station, <clears throat> in Ben Boyd National Park, is that what it is? Not Ben Boyd National Park, I'll get the right, I'll get the right name on the way out, but yeah, it's 
We're seriously five k's from Victorian border again. That's all right. This is called Boyd Town, and this was a working whaling station right back in the day, 1800s. You can hear the bell, bell birds, I think they're called, chirping away happily. Kia House. There's a caretaker in residence. And he has no entry sign up and he's got to please respect my privacy notice. That's fair enough. Why not? Was it built in 1896? Lockgarra. Home of George and Sarah Davidson and their eight kids. Jack, Effie, Roy, Sarah, Jim, Wallace, Elsie and Kerry. And there you go. And they made their living through whaling, I believe. Care house, it's called. 17 acres. Freehold. Gardens were established in 1954 by his wife Edna. And that's his humble home with his, what, how many kids? Eight. Eight kitty leewinks. There you go. They delivered mail? When okay. There was no whales? So when whaling season yeah. was off, he was a white he was a whaling postman. season was only in winter and early <coughs> spring months. They delivered mail, operated the Green Cape Lighthouse, harvested wattle bark for tanning leather, worked in the forestry, ran a post office, a telephone exchange, and George was a tour guide from his boat in Twofold Bay in later years. There you go. So that's how they survived and that's they had they made their each. own um, fruit, meat, vegetable and dairy products, which saved them money as well when there was no income from the whales. <laughs> just down just down from that caretaker's cottage is a set of stairs that takes you down to this bay. This is absolutely beautiful. I think it's Gorgeous. called Twofold Bay. Twofold. Twofold Bay it's been confirmed as Twofold Bay. And these people had lived a life, didn't they? Look where they live. Well, it would have been hard living, but in a spot like that, I think you could have taken it. You know, just the spot, it's just beautiful. A couple more stairs to go, and we'll be on the beach. Riley Point Beach. Riley Point Beach, there you go. Part of Twofold Bay, Eden. I'll go straight down here and I'll get a bigger, bigger pan of the bay from this angle I think. Comes out here, that's the view north, that's the view north and it comes in around, looks like there's another house just over there. And that's the inlet, that's the bay there. And this I think is where they used to bring the whales in. From the whale boats and drag them up on the beach and carve them up. There's my little intrepid explorer down there, see you there. But yeah, I mean what a place eh? I bet if you threw a line in there you'd catch something to eat fish wise. I reckon you would. Big flathead. Maybe big brim. I've got my fishing gear back at the caravan. I'll be hooking straight into them. Perfect spot for flathead. So this is all that remains of the whaling station today after it's been sitting here for a hundred years. You've got boilers, one, two and three. Another big pot here to boil up and separate the meat from the blubber of the whale. And over here we have a whale winch. So you'd stick a long pole into either side of that. Tie your whale's rope around the bottom. And two blokes would just walk in a circle and winch the whale up. 
hard, hard work. And I assume, yep, these are the boilers left from the boilers. From boiling up the whale blubber and fat. Yeah. Hard times, but look at that, look at that view. And I think there's another one through there. Might be another hut or a house across the inlet. I'm not sure if we can get to it. We possibly could if we walk the beach. Maybe do that walk. That might get us to that place. We'll have a look, but then you've got to be careful of the tide coming in and you won't get caught. And that might be a problem. Best leave that for another time. But yeah, twofold bay. Magnificent. So, after a bit of discussion about entering a naval jetty, we're still in the same national park. But this is a naval Bawawa Bawawa National Park. This is a naval jetty that <clears throat> we were a bit hesitant about entering because it's military base, but gates are wide open, no one's really there checking things out, so a naval jetty known as the Port of Eden security levels level one which is aware business as usual and this continues on from the uh, whaling station which I think was a uh, one or two bays that way but yeah just can't get a hold of this water it's just so blue I keep saying that's just the reason why it's called the Sapphire Coast, I guess. The water's just, yeah, blue, blue like a sapphire. Yeah, and that's Eden over there, the township of Eden, across there. And there's a little township in those little headlands there called Boyd Town. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I see a big caretaker's hut. Big caretaker's hut. Up over there. Oh, sorry, that's not a caretaker's hut. That's a lodge called the Ogden Lodge. O R G D E N Lodge. And we're not sure exactly what it is. It was all gated up. Uh, it could be something to do with naval. It could be like a naval quarters, rest area for Navy people. It could be like their R and R base when they're having a bit of downtime. Don't know. Just speculation at this stage. But look, at that that's just beautiful. Yeah, what a special place. Awesome. This jetty goes from that's the beginning there, and it goes. It goes for a good way, eight kilometers, two kilometers at least. It needs to. It needs to reach the deep water so the naval boats don't get ground up on the sand and caught. It's naval wharf. Might be used by customs. Who knows? Its name is its name is Navy Wharf. Um, unless that's Navy over there. I oh, know that'll be the timber. That on the hill there's a big timber import export business. They run logs up and down the hills. When coming in, we had big stacks of logs. We were passing. Export, big export company. Big export company. It ships all the all the wooden products overseas for help building and whatever purposes overseas need their wood. But yeah, that'd be their wharf. And this one just goes kilometers, mate. It just goes and goes. You reckon? So that's a big timber business up there. It's a bark chip. It'd be bark chip, sawdust, all that sort of byproduct from wood. We passed big log and big mounds of logs coming in. We wondered what was going on. Then we found that there's a big log factory there. Or a processing spot for, for logs. But yeah. 
and that's the township of Eden straight across there that's part that bay in there and there's the other part north of Eden, north of Eden's on the other side there Down here, it's amazing. We've been to Umea in the Pacific, and the colour of that water was just spectacular. Like the same colour here, it's got to be, if not close to it. Big yeah. boats, a little beach. Is the end of the wharf. It's Naval Wharf. Good spot for fishing. There's it. There's it as we saw. There's people fishing and catching fish left, right, and centre out here. fish because there's a lot of floating seaweed township of Eden over the headlands of beach Eden south Eden north and this is the harbour of Eden port of Eden it's called, sorry, Port of Eden, New South Wales. Don't know if you guys can pick this up, but there's a school of dolphins just off here. I can't zoom because the GoPro's got no zoom on it. Hopefully, it picks it up. School of place for dolphins just off the jetty. Tower. The Yawa National Park. Let's see what it's about. Well, it looks better than you going by yourself, isn't it? And this is out at Boyd's Tower. Ah, Not quite sure what Boyd's Tower is exactly. It's a tower, I know. There's that lovely view of Eden again. Storm clouds coming down. We might have to do this and then bunk, bunk back home to the van because it looks like it's going to rain. We've got pizza night tonight. Pizza night at the van. And midweek. Midweek jam, jam sessions at the shack. So we got some guy playing his acoustic. I don't know if it's acoustic. So that's a big night at the van park. Pizza night and jam night at the shack. So, Boyd's Tower. How come we didn't do this when we came down in October for our honeymoon? Uh, I didn't think of it. Because we went to the lighthouse. Didn't think of it. We went to ben, is this Ben Boyd? This is Biowa oh, National it's Park. Ben Boyd then. Ben Boyd's the next one down. Right. With your lighthouse on it. Okay. Bit of a confusing confusion there with our national parks, but Easily done when they're side by side and start with the same letter. Well, I just remember on our honeymoon we went to Ben Boyd's lighthouse, which is. Oh, look at the colour of the rocks! Yeah, Pulling we went up to here ben to look Boyd's at the rocks. Uh, I don't know if you can get it because of the lighting, but the rocks are bright red. Ben Boyd, see your distance, the, the longest. Yeah. The longest headland in the distance is your Ben Boyd. And your lighthouse is just back over that hump would be the lighthouse. It's not right on the point, but yeah. Can't pick that up because of the contra- Oh, maybe, yeah, a little bit. There it is, bright red. Bright red? Yeah. Wow. 
There's some more of it. Much the same as the pinnacles, but a different colour. So Boyd's lookout, uh, Boyd's tower, sorry. We're getting closer to it. It looks like it could be an old lighthouse maybe, or a watchtower for ships. Who knows, we'll have to find out when we get there. But that's the, that's the southern view down towards Victoria. Point in Boyd's Tower. I'd say it's an old, old lighthouse. By the looks of it. Old lighthouse. I would have thought it would be like a watchtower. Or it could be a watchtower. And they had a big cannon like Could be. I well, know it's windy and cold in it. So looking down that way, one, two, third headland is Ben Lloyd National Park and that's where we were originally thinking we were but we're not, we're in the adjoining National Park of the Yoa. I'm going to look inside, you might get Rel doing a random photo, here we go, we're looking to get each other the cameras, how's that? <laughs> now, this is looking north again, Township of Eden Beach, South Eden, North Eden, all the way up there. I can't place where it is, is Tathra. That's where we're staying. Two hours yonder up that way. It's well worth the drive down here today. We explored a lot lots of things anyway hit that subscribe button instagram youtube facebook tiktok hit them all up hit all them all up in the socials tell us your thoughts about the best spot in the south coast that you've seen catch you later boards tower yoa national park let's see what it's about well, it looks better than you going by yourself, isn't it? And this is out of Boyd's Tower. Ah, it's Not quite sure what Boyd's Tower is exactly. It's a tower, I know. There's that lovely view of Eden again. Storm clouds coming down. We might have to do this and then buck, bunk back home to the van because it looks like it's going to rain. We've got pizza night tonight. Pizza night at the van. And midweek. Midweek jam, jam sessions at the shack. So we got some guy playing his acoustic. I don't know if it's acoustic. So that's a big night at the van park. Pizza night and jam night at the shack. So, Boyd's Tower. Uh, I didn't think of it. We went to the lighthouse. Didn't think of it. We went to this is Ben Boyd. This is Biawa oh, National it's Park. Not ben Boyd. Then. Ben Boyd's the next one down. Right. With your lighthouse on it. Okay. Bit of a confusing confusion there with our national parks, but easily done when they're side by side and start with the same letter. Well, I just remember on our honeymoon we went to Ben Boyd's lighthouse, which oh, is. Look. Look at the colour of the rocks! Yeah, Pulling we're up here to, to look at the rocks. I don't know if you can get it because of the lighting, but the rocks are bright red. Ben Boyd, see your distance, the, the longest yeah. the longest headland in the distance is your Ben Boyd. And your lighthouse is just back over that hump with the lighthouse. It's not right on the point, but yeah. Can't pick that up because of the contra... Oh, maybe, yeah, a little bit. There it is, bright red. Bright red! Yeah. Wow. There's some more of it. There. Much the same as the pinnacles, but a different colour. So Boyd's lookout, 
a Boyd's Tower, sorry. We're getting closer to it. It looks like it could be an old lighthouse maybe, or a watchtower for ships. Who knows, we'll have to find out when we get there. But that's the, that's the southern view down towards Victoria. in Boyd's Tower. I'd say it's an old, old lighthouse. By the looks of it. Old lighthouse. I would have thought it would be like a watchtower. Or it could be a watchtower. And they had a big cannon inside. Could be. I know it's windy and cold in it. So looking down that way, one, two, third headland is Benwood National Park and that's where we were originally thinking we were but we're not, we're in the adjoining National Park, the Yoa. I'm going to look inside, you might get Rel doing a random photo, here we go, we're looking to get each other the cameras, how's that? <laughs> now, this is looking north again, Township of Eden Beach, South Eden, North Eden, all the way up there. I can't place where it is. It's Tathra, that's where we're staying. Two hours yonder up that way. It's well worth the drive down here today. We explored a lot lots of things anyway hit that subscribe button instagram youtube facebook tiktok hit them all up hit all them all up in the socials tell us your thoughts about the best spot in the south coast that you've seen catch you later